Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad game, okay? If you read the title, I meant that it's just not ready. Now I know you can't exactly judge the game off just the beta and off me, you know, since there might be a majority of people finding the experience in this rather much, much better than I did. And I guess it's fun. It's really fun. Like, if you've been following me on my Discord and Instagram, you would usually hear that I say that I love playing it and it just felt really fresh playing it. But it still doesn't take away the many complaints that I have for this beta. It is rough, but not as rough as Battlefield 4 beta and its launch. But don't you want this to be a lot more polished than BF4's launch and not just a little more polished? First of all, my first point here is not optimized. Like, I don't know what it is, but on both of my systems, both uh, with RTX 2080 Ti and literally just playing medium settings, the game struggles to load new parts of the map without lagging balls. Sometimes it doesn't lag that bad, but sometimes it's terrible. I don't think that the game needs a 30 series to play this, okay? It, 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 it's too overkill. Like, if the game requires you the 30 series to play this properly, then it's gonna cut off a majority of gamers because many gamers still don't own them. And I don't think they will be owning them anytime soon with this price. I'm not sure if the lift clip here in the beginning has anything to do with the servers not loading things properly or it's just a really the bug in the game's asset itself. If it happens with everybody, then maybe it's not really the lag, but still, it's just a moment of weird. This is just, <laughs> this is abnormal, okay? This is abnormal. And I guess when a full game is out, we can, you know, select a region to play in, because right now, sometimes I get put into, I don't know, a fucking Antarctica server or something. At one point, I had like 400 ping, which is like, do you even want to ask the experience of that? Next point is the vehicle's UI is dog music. Honestly, it's not really just the, uh, the vehicle itself, but sometimes this, this thing is, I don't know, it, it doesn't look video game like, it looks like a magazine, <laughs> it looks like a poster design, boom, like a block that just cover like a top part of the screen. It, it, I don't know, it doesn't look good to me. I said this in my BF2042's leaks video that I thought the UI is terrible. And yeah, it still remains here in this build of the game on vehicle, especially the visibility is terrible. And like this time here, I don't know if there should have been a lot of cluttered UI with like crosshair here, but there was nothing. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I like the look of this better. Maybe just give it a simple crosshair and we're good really. Oh, and sometimes like the screen still jitters. Like it's literally the same bug as it in, like previous battlefield games i don't think this should happen with every battlefield like this wasn't even with high ping either like the screen just jitters randomly now the next point is like, the game can't look cool and graphically amazing while having terrible ragdoll box like this like constantly i know it looks hilarious and i guess it might make for funny videos but i'm just not a fan of the waiting for revive screen. The camera just struggles to center at where the character is placed because the ractal itself is also finding a place. I don't know what the camera view wants to do. Does it want to show me the guy that killed me or my dead body? Sometimes it keeps switching around. I just find it like really weird and dizzy. The revive animation itself is also terrible. It looks weak and flimsy. I'm not a fan of basically anyone in the squad can revive by the way. Like I know it opens for team play but I'll get into that in a bit back to the revive thing when you get revived right it gives you this really disorientating camera movement again struggling to get back to the character's view i don't know what it is with this camera thing in the game it just doesn't know where to go so when you revive you're probably gonna get killed before the camera gets back in place like look at this it's just swerving around before it actually gets back to your body it's like the character's soul is trying to find where the body is to get back into <laughs> Next point, okay, right now, I just want to say that I love the plus system. I, I'm a huge fan of what's being done here. I, I, I find myself switching the scope and sights constantly, like going from close range to longer range, but I have one bit of complaint here once again. Sometimes the system doesn't save the setup that you have for the gun. For me to have them with the AK, I have to change, like putting on the sight, the grip, the magazine and everything. Every time I respawn, I would have to do that whole thing because it keeps resetting. It keeps going back to a naked AK. 
okay. Other guns do sometimes happen as well, but it's not it's not like every time as with the AK. I don't know what it is with this gun. Other than that, I just love this new feature. I I, I hope that the reset thing is fixed when the full game is out. I can't wait to try out more attachments, by the way. Next to my last major complaint. Like this one is specifically for me mostly, but I have heard quite a lot of other people saying this too. But I don't dig the specialist at all. I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, no matter how I look at it, I just keep wanting to have the same soul medic support recon system again. Like this class is just work. It just made so much sense and it opens up for so much more broad customization. I know that each specialist will later have like more skins and they will look somewhat different, but literally right now, there could be an entire squad of McKay or maybe like an entire squad of Boris. And I this whole thing is looks and sounds so goofy to me. It doesn't feel battlefield at all. I, I don't have problem with them like doing it like modern warfare with like the tactical sprint thing, the whole being able to reload while still aiming down the sides. I think that's brilliant. Like modern warfare laid an amazing blueprint for other games in terms of that. But the specialist, like really, like not only that, the third person takedown, really, out of anything that like, you. Should you shouldn't just take everything from Modern Warfare because the game sells well. Like, this is Battlefield, not Call of Duty. Like, like, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look brutal. If anything, it looks silly and goofy and also cartoony. Animation itself it also doesn't even look good right now. And it takes too long. What happened to the Battlefield 1 when DICE decided to make like, the animation quicker and doesn't take as long because usually you get killed while doing the takedown? So they went in that route to make it faster. But now in this Battlefield, they decided to make it a long animation again. Just so I don't drift off on a rant here, I just should just summarize everything right now. Like I said at the beginning, this, this game is fun. Okay, uh, 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 do I think it's ready just yet though? Mm. I'm not I'm not so sure like we have just about a month left till the full release now and uh, I think it's quite good amount of fixes to be made here like, like and there's already this many issues like this is just one map they need to act on this really carefully as well since another delay could literally kill the hype for this right now since the hype of this has died down quite a bit as well gotta say though it's unpolished but it's still really fun uh, if anything everything else that I didn't talk about is actually amazing like the gunplay is fun the time to kill is nicely balanced. The sniper is a mix of like Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 5, which is great. The movement is actually decent. The slide works nicely, along with the new tactical sprints. The weapon animation is good. The reload, everything just feels nice and hefty. Actually, the vehicle's physics is decent. It actually seems more like a proper vehicle, unlike the thousand feet high bumping buggy in older battlefields. Oh, and after all, this beta build is probably barely showing off anything of the full game. There still can be more weapons arsenal, like more vehicles, more specialists with my fingers crossed again with this specialist and many more maps because the maps are really really important in battlefield game they're usually what like battlefield players can associate the game with even if they moved on to play anything else they will always have like fun memory of good maps they used to play on and that's basically everything i wanted to talk about with this beta so far i played the early axes and so i had some time to you know play the game quite a bit i'm not sure if i unlocked everything that i needed to right now with the gadgets they offer me is not really enough right now <laughs> it's really lackluster it doesn't look ready it just doesn't look ready it, i know it's fun i know it's fun to play it but it's not ready that's it for today's videos. Let me know what you guys think though. Did you guys play the game? And what do you guys think of the gameplay you guys see from me and other YouTubers out there? Let me know that in the comment section. I think there will be more Battlefield videos. So subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.